Sunny here with a quick update on how to transcribe your YouTube video. YouTube has changed a little bit of the interface. It's a little, I'd say a lot more complicated to do this in the way they've set it up, but I'm going to show you so that you'll be able to do this in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the top right here, click on the icon, which will allow me to select my channel. I'm then going to click on videos, and this is going to show me all the videos I've uploaded. I'm going to click on this video that I'm using as an example. And we're going to go ahead and pause that. Now I'm going to click the edit video button. And then I'm going to click the advanced tab. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click edit on classic studio. I'm going to then click edit. And what you'll see is that YouTube has automatically tried to generate the captions for you. This is why you'll often hear me say this looks like it was auto-generated. So what you're going to want to do is play your video. This here with a quick walkthrough tour of our course. If And I'm just going to update these based on what I'm saying. Make sure you use punctuation. Or you haven't used it as extensively for an online course. I just want to walk you. Adding the comma there. You through how I use Canvas. I've been using... You'll notice when you start to make an edit that it will pause. This platform for many years now, and I think it is the best learning management system there. And part of that is if you can learn. So you'll just keep doing this until you've gone all the way through the captions for your video, and then you'll click Publish Edit. Now, if we go back through and look at that video, you'll notice also when you do this, it takes you to a different link, the Creator Studio. But you can click on that and go back into your Creator Studio, and you should be able to look at the video now, and we'll see if it has Dr. Sunny capitalized. Dr. Hughes here with a quick walkthrough. Something else you'll notice is when you do this correctly, the closed captioning button automatically lights up red. I hope this has been helpful. If anyone finds a more direct way to do this, please submit it to the FAQ for extra credit. Thank you.